Steve changed how far he was stood from the golf ball and got it absolutely nailed with all his clubs using this process. I've just finished his lesson and I just thought I've got to show you because Sessi's asked the question, does it mean when he rotates better, he's got to stand close to the golf ball? Well, simply, we've just got to get a good distance from the golf ball every time so our brain knows where it is. We don't feel uncomfortable second guessing ourselves. There's nothing worse, especially on a, a tough hole like this, second guessing where you're stood. So guys, if you're thinking, how do you, you get your question, like Seshi here on the channel, nice and simple. My aim, right, this summer is solely to help you become the best golfer you can. So simply to do that, subscribe, turn on the bell, and just put your comment down below. I would be happy to help you achieve your goals this summer. Let's get into this one. So we're gonna do this with our pitching wedge, a mid iron, and then into driver. Now, as I'm going through this, I'm gonna tell you what reference points Steve used and then what reference points I used to create this video, but they will be different for you, okay? You'll understand why. So I've got pitching wedge in my hand here first. Let's start with a short club and build. So nice and simple, grab it in your hand. I've got my stance around shoulder width apart. You can see that from player cam here. Keeping your legs straight, just get the club to be parallel to the ground. All I'm gonna do here now, forget the golf ball at this point, tilt over, slightly bend the knees, okay? But then I'm gonna shuffle in, keeping everything the same. Now, this is the very important key bit of this video. You're gonna hook your iron around your golf ball like that. You can see from player cam exactly what I can see here in this video. Grab yourself a Sharpie and just make a reference point on your shaft if there's not like a label or not anything there to where your toes are sort of hanging. So I can see my toes are just short of the KBS sticker. You pick up your golf club, boom, you've got your reference point. Your balance points are correct, really that easy. Okay, let me show you how that works exactly the same now. I have eight iron in my hand. So pitching wedge, eight iron. If I grab five iron, this process would be the same. That's why it's so easy. And Steve got it nailed and so can you. Right, again, forget your golf ball. Leg straight, club parallel to the ground, tilt over from the hips. And what I found for Steve was that he felt very over this golf ball compared to what he felt normally. Then slightly bend the knees, shuffle into the ball, keeping your distance from the club head the same. Again, all you're gonna do is hook it and in. And you might think, Alex, do I need to do this at every single club? No, I'm just showing you that this method, if you use a variable set of irons in terms of length, that this mark again, look at it in player cam, is just short of the KBS sticker. Okay, I pick my club up, I've got my distance. Dead easy, every single time I've got it nailed. So don't actually have to go through that process. I could just go, right, I'm on the range now, just check my distance, all right, there I am. Club up, smack a few away. The better you get this every single time in your practice, actually, the easier it will be on the golf course because your brain will know that's what it feels like. Ah, that's what it feels like. And you're just building feels. That's what this video is about. Okay, on to driver. A little bit different because the driver shaft is considerably longer and also we haven't got like markers on it in terms of stickers or things like that. But the process remains the same. The only slight change here is that I would go a little bit wider in my stance. So have a look at this in player cam. That's where I was for my irons. This is where I am now for my driver, just wider shoulder width apart and I've got my ball position built into this bit more as well. Leg straight again, lower it, Bow over from the hips, forget the ball, slightly bend the knees, shuffle into the ball. You follow the same process. You just hook it in, just like that, and that's really essential you get it hooked in the same. Make sure that's right, don't be scared, just to give it a bit of a peer over. And now make your reference point on your grip, where that is. Okay, that is there, look at that from player cam, I'm just drawing that on, nice and easy. So every time, I've got it absolutely nailed, I feel comfortable. I feel I'm hitting the balance points of armpits over the toes, bum just behind the heels. And I know that's gonna help me find the middle. That's gonna help me control the club face. These are all elements that you have to do to become a much better golfer. Watch this ball fight. 
I could sell that drive on a Saturday in a medal because everybody wants to be down the middle on the flat spot right there. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a process that you can take straight into your golf game. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell because I'd love to help you hit your goals this summer.